Good morning and welcome to Chem 1010. This is week one and I wanted to introduce you to all the things that you're going to get to do this week as part of the class. Also introduce you to the website and uh, in order to do that I'm going to log into the Chem 1010 site and it takes you to the announcements page. So you should get uh, at least one announcement per week, uh, sometimes more depending upon what happens with the course. Uh, I've got an announcement up here that I posted as soon as the class was online about some key tips and tricks uh, to how this course runs. So hopefully you've already seen that. If not, please do watch it. I'm going to go to the Start Here link next. The Start Here link is great because it has my office hours and I want to make this clear so uh, I am always at these office hours. So you do not need an appointment. You uh, can plan on me being there regardless of uh, whether you think you have a question. So just pop in, say hi, ask a question, get things cleared up. As I've said, and I will say, chemistry is hard enough when you get all of your questions answered. It is much harder when you don't. And we want to make this as painless as possible. <laughs> I know it's a lot of work, but um, it hopefully uh, all the work that you do or the vast majority of it at least feels like you're working towards learning something that will further your career. That's my goal. If you feel like something is just a complete waste of your time, uh, please let me know and I'll consider changing it. Now, um, so there's my office hours, my email, of course, and um, the required textbook. So uh, let's go ahead and click on that. Uh, it's a couple clicks to get here, so um, it might take us a minute or two, but it's worth it. The textbook is a book that I've put together for this course. It offers another way of looking at the information uh, that is sometimes very similar, sometimes the same, and sometimes a little different than uh, how I teach it in the lecture outlines, and we'll talk about those in a minute. So you saw one click, and then another click. It takes us to the Prince George's Community College. Um, LibreTech site. We'll give it just another minute to load here. And then you can see the Chem 1010 uh, General Chemistry Miller link. That's me. Go ahead and click on that. See if it'll take us there. Good. And uh, you'll see some other courses that use LibreTech here. And it's still one more click uh, because of the format of LibreTech. But go ahead and click on Chem 1010 general chemistry, and you will see all the chapters that we're going to be going through this semester. Yep. And um, this is, again, a good resource for you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. It should look familiar uh, to for some of the things that you're going to be doing in week one. Let's go ahead and back to, uh, where were we? Oh, let's go back to start here, because that's where that link was. If you scroll down, there's a bunch of information, again, about how this course works. Uh, most of it, if not all of it, is also found in the syllabus. Now I'm going to go to Course Content. For Course Content, you're going to see that I've laid out each of the weeks into a separate folder. Uh, I just want to highlight that I've got a scientist for each week and that Devin Swiner is from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Uh, the same uh, town that I live in, um, coincidentally. Um, and she earned her PhD in chemistry in 2021. So now we're at the week one module. You can see a suggested workflow. Um, the workflow incl includes completing the lecture outline. That's what LO stands for. Um, by uh, downloading the handouts and writing the notes as you watch the videos um, and you'll see those a little bit down below. Actually, let's just go to that now. So here's the lecture outline. Here you can click on this to get the handout. Here's all the topics that we'll be covering. And here's all of the lecture outline videos that you can access. If you ever have any problems accessing these videos, please let me know. You'll see that it's a lot of lecture outline videos this week. And that's because we're going to get started with new material quickly. And I am very aware that uh, I am, you know, this is a big class, but I'm not overloading you. That's my goal. So because we have more lecture outline this week, 
you'll see we have less lab and no recitation this week. So those are the three parts to this class. As I've mentioned, you should have six hours of in-class time, quote unquote, since we're online. Three hours of lecture and three hours of lab. Oh, sorry, seven hours. There's a recitation as well. Um, and then uh, nine hours or 10 hours of out of class homework. Doing So doing the homework, reviewing your notes, um, writing up those notes. <laughs> I apologize for this. Let's see if we can get it to go away. Uh, anyway, we'll just keep going. Um, okay, so that's what we're doing here is um, there we go uh, so we did the lecture outline then start on the homework problems so the homework problems are always about the material in the lecture outline so that's why we do the lecture outline first the homework problems are not meant to be saved for the due date they're meant to be done uh, three to five uh, per day I know you've all got busy schedules but one way to really help yourself learn the chemistry is to do at least a couple hours each day. You can save it for the end. Um, nothing wrong with that um, either if that works best for you, but I like to do it a little each day. Um, many of the homework problems have tutorial videos. Watch them. That'll help you solve the problems. Um, and at the end of the homework, you must turn in your work for all of the asterisk homework problems meaning I need to see work on the page for these problems, how you did it, and no work for these problems equals no credit. Uh, and, uh, oh, there's a, oh, it's not a discussion board, it's just a tell me a little bit about yourself, that changed from last semester, and an introduction to lab. Lab will start next week, and the lab kits that I've promised you will start in a couple weeks. We're getting them together right now, and you'll have to pick them up from campus. As we go down, um, we talked about lecture outlines. Let's review the homework a little bit. And again, the homework should take you a considerable amount of time. You'll see that in homework one, there are 17 different problems. And I'll just start right off by mentioning that homework one, the PDF of your work, I tell you which problems you have to do. They're all the asterisk problems. And you can also just upload all of your work. When you upload your work, please upload it as one PDF, all of the pages, okay? Not images, not JPEGs or anything like that, just a PDF and one PDF per assignment. Starting in week two, not week one, because I want to give you some time to figure it out, but starting in week two, if you uh, submit it as JPEGs or you submit it as more than one PDF, or at least uh, 10 pages or so per PDF, if, if there's a lot, then it can be a couple PDFs, but you should be able to do it as one PDF. But starting in week two, if it's just one page at a time, I'm gonna start deducting points, unfortunately. But the idea is if you'd submit it as a PDF, I will grade it and offer feedback on the assignment itself so that you'll be able to see if you missed points, what you missed points for, and maybe even how to fix it. And if you don't know how to fix it, you can always ask me. Now let's go back to the top. I'll talk a little bit about, uh, so the topic of each of the homeworks is listed, draw phases of matter. You're gonna be drawing the phases of matter, which is straight out of the lecture outline. FIL stands for file upload. You will write it on your piece of paper. You will scan it in and scanning it in to a PDF. Uh, the apps that I'm familiar with are Adobe Scan and Cam Scanner. Uh, if you have another good app, please let me know so that I can pass it along to everybody in the class. But that'll be a file upload one. MC is multiple choice. FIB is fill in the blank. NUM is numerical answer. You'll put in a number. And asterisk means that when you solve this problem for the density, you're going to put in a number and then you're going to write down on your page your work and then you're going to have to end up submitting that at the end. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, so here are some of the tutorial videos. Uh, I will double check today that they work. <laughs> um, just cause from semester to semester, sometimes uh, we have issues with that. But if you ever see something that doesn't work, something that doesn't make sense, just email me. 
uh, and I will fix it and I will appreciate it. Here's another file upload. MA is multiple answer. More than one of the answers can be correct. Uh, good. That's all the different types of problems on the homework. A couple other things about the homework. You have four attempts for each homework assignment and I take your highest one. So if you get the first one right, great. You're done. If it takes you longer, a couple other attempts, that's fine. If you get to the third attempt and you're still really uh, struggling or just need any help at all, uh, email me your work or come to office hours. And either way, we'll talk about it or I'll comment on it and you'll get it, which is the point. Uh, so let's see. Yes, that's all the homework. I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, always get in touch.